we've heard for a long time, and I've been covering healthcare for 15 years, and over the last several years, I get constant pitches about imaging AI and deep machine learning to do imaging. And this is something that kind of feels like it's always on the brink of breaking through and helping democratize diagnosis and bring quality diagnosis to more people, because obviously one of the big constraints in healthcare is having, you know, expert technicians and doctors be able to go out there and read scans and do diagnosis and do imaging work to find uh, types of conditions. What is your view? I mean, I'm sure you guys see and look at this technology all the time. I'm sure you get pitched it. I know you all do work here in the machine learning space and quite a bit of it. Where are we on the development of imaging AI and deep learning and being able to truly see a breakthrough here is there even going to be a kind of you know big breakthrough aha moment where you know for many for many instances a computer can replace replace a doctor or is this just going to be an era of kind of small incremental improvement and efficiency for years and years and years and there won't be some big aha moment that we all look up and say oh my gosh the world has changed i think there will be an oh my gosh but not in one moment um, but when we look back, um, I mean, like when we look back, um, what has the internet done to us or what has the iPhone <laughs> done to us over the years? Yeah, we will see it in hindsight. Yeah, And we are a leader when it comes to AI development. I mean, a real leader when it comes to um, the technologies we have, the patents we have. And, and here it's really about gradually um, taking over tasks, routine tasks of, of physicians, of radiologists, so that they can focus on the more difficult topics and can work top of license. And I think what we also should not forget that there's a democrat, that there is an element of democratizing imaging in AI because um, there are still billions of people uh, who live in, in a world where there is no radiologist, yeah, and where um, technology is a solution to the staff shortage. Yeah? And here, um, the progress is pretty fast, yeah? um, but I think we should have a, a bit of a less controversial way of putting it, well, we are replacing the doctor. We are, on the one hand, bringing the doctor where there is no doctor, and on the other hand, we allow highly qualified radiologists not to spend valuable time um, with routine tasks.